Hello everyone! Oh boy, as you can see, I've got something eating away at the cucumber leaves, leaving holes. Big, ugly holes. The affected leaves are mostly the ones down near the bottom, close to the soil level. The leaves at the top of the plant are beautiful and healthy looking. So who's been eating these leaves? I feel a bit like Goldilocks. I tried finding the culprit and couldn't. Maybe they come out at night, I don't know, but I have some ideas. The most likely culprits are either caterpillars or beetles. There are spotted and striped cucumber beetles. The spotted ones look like this. The adult is about a quarter inch long, has a bright yellow-green body with 12 black spots, and if I see one, I'll be sure to count them. The striped beetle looks like this. Obviously, it's got stripes, three stripes running lengthwise, and it's a little smaller, about a fifth of an inch long. The striped beetle lives through the winter and then emerges in May or early June. The spotted variety doesn't survive our winters. It migrates here from the southern states. I'm in upstate New York, and so the spotted variety becomes active from June through September, and it's July now, so that's about right, unfortunately. Cucumber beetles attack cucumbers as well as squash and melon-type plants, so I think that's what's bugging my plant and me. So what's the plan? Well, the first thing you need to do is get rid of all the affected leaves. And so I pruned most of the leaves. There were both older leaves and newer leaves, but pretty much all were confined to the bottom part of the cucumber plants. Next, at this point, I'll need to use some sort of Warning, I'm about to use bad language, so cover your ears. I'm going to use an organic pesticide. I rarely need to, but in this case, it looks like I'll have to give in. I don't want to affect the beneficial insects or pollinators like the ladybugs or the bees, just the bad guys, whomever they may be. I have two go-to products I use for insect control. Both are considered organic. One is this, Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, and the other is neem oil. They have different ingredients and they work differently. Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew specifically mentions killing beetles and caterpillars, so that's what I decided to use on the cucumbers. The active ingredient is spinosad, which is a natural substance made from a soil bacterium. This bacterium can be toxic to some insects, including bagworms, borers, beetles, caterpillars, gypsy moths, spider mites, and more. Even though this is considered safe for organic gardening, there are some drawbacks to using the dead bug formula, and that's because it kills bugs, which means it will kill caterpillars, and that in turn will affect the butterfly population. It is also toxic to honeybees, which we want to protect as well. Still, if you have bugs destroying your plants, then you might have to resort to this spray, and it does work. Make sure to spray at night when the bees have gone for the day. Night is usually when the bad guys come out anyway, right? And that's what I did. I sprayed at night. Neem oil works differently. It's a plant-based pesticide found in the seeds of the neem tree, and it works by preventing the pests from eating. And if they can't eat, they die. The truth is, I really don't know what's been eating at the cucumber leaves. My guess was the cucumber beetle, since none of my other plants are affected. Snow peas, tomatoes, peppers, corn, strawberries, they're all fine. Just the cucumber plants. I'm not growing any squash or melons this year, so I really don't know. The other culprit I've seen around is something we call a stink bug. It looks like this. And the hole it leaves looks like the holes I had. So maybe that's who's been eating my leaves. It also could be aphids or a type of caterpillar that likes to eat. I think they all do. Makes me wonder about the butterflies I grew. Are these their offspring? In any case, I'm happy to say the new leaves are not showing any signs of being eaten, and the cucumbers are well on their way to doing what they're supposed to do, flowering and then fruiting so that two-legged human creatures can eat. That's it for the cucumbers until harvest day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Bye.